What is going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you're having an amazing day to this video we are going to be taking a look at another latest beta of mio 12 china so again over here MR12 has been officially released for the global stable and the beta rollout will be next week so again if you are expecting this global stable update of MR12 on your device officially it might take almost end of the june or again september early or something so if you have a redmi note 7 pro redmi note 5 pro or anything or even the redmi note 5 which is on android oreo it might take even the end of year so again if you have a flagship phone like the k20 pro you can of course expect the beta release next week and the official update in the early of june so again over here as you can see i have the latest version of mr12 and there are a couple of changes over here but the main changes over here are it looks more over like iOS. Yep, Xiaomi is uh, constantly ripping off iOS and many other features from the best OSs of Android 2, for example, Auction OS and Samsung's One UI. So let's just take a look. Again, as you can see over here, it looks beautiful, like all the animations and stuff are still the same. Well, the lag over here is much more contained. It was still starting on my Redmi K20 Pro, which has a Snapdragon 855, like for example, opening this, but again, it has been completely fixed, as you can see. If you're watching this on 60 fps it's very smooth again just going through you and stuff again this is the latest china beta so you have all the widgets and everything which do get a bit of an upgrade again going through apps and everything is just the similar stuff so let's just go to the settings app again over here pretty much everything is just the same but if you just go to my device mi your version as you can see the updater is a bit tweaked you have MI community button right over here, check for updates. Now you will see something like this with the change log if you aren't registered as a beta tester. As you can see, I am not registered. I do get the public beta updates like for this. But if you are a registered closed beta tester, you will get something like this. Yep, thanks to the courtesy of Javis X, I guess I said his name right. Has a beautiful UI of this kind, like look at that. This is just a chain on top on the mr 12s beauty because it just already looks amazing. But if you want the public updates, if you have followed my installation method, just go here, go to update settings and be sure you have turned on receive updates early and install automatically. So you receive all the updates because they are only up for a couple of hours as I yesterday recorded 20.5.18 and already 20.5.19 is available. So yeah, you have to just be a little bit quicker. Then again scrolling down pretty much everything is just the same. The sound enhancer settings might be back for some of the people. So for example, it's just gone but screen effects were again back for me for some odd weird reason. And then let us go back. Everything is just the same. You do not get the newer fingerprint animations from the K30 Pro or something. But if you go to the notification center, it's still the same. But it's more like iOS. So again in today's global stable event, they said that Xiaomi has achieved very optimized lifetime Gaussian blur and that is now even continued to the notification center. So if you have a Snapdragon 865 phone, you will get something like this. Yup, pure blur animations just like iOS. They are currently not available even on a flagship phone like K20 Pro but you will get it in future. Again it is very amazing that Xiaomi is able to achieve this like even in the camera if you just go for both of the phones like even the Galaxy S10 Plus, a flagship phone of the same year, you have the live Gaussian blur with no dips at all. The framework and everything just still looks so beautiful even on the S10 Plus. I mean, I don't know whether it's the Exynos or something but the Samsung's blur isn't that good at all. It's very stuttery and the blur effect itself isn't that good. So again, hats off to the Xiaomi for this. Even though it's a iOS ripoff, it works really good. So again, over here in the camera, you get to see a bunch of changes. So majority of them is a brand new camera mode. So again, just like Auction OS, you can just swipe up like this to get all the modes or you can just enable to the right, just like the Gcam, but it's now disabled. So just going over here, you have a brand new clone mode. Now the way it works is a bit tricky. It was presented two weeks ago after the official event, but now it's finally here. So you can take a clone photo or a clone video. Now it doesn't have a timer. You need a second person or you can just do it by yourself in mirror just like me so even in video it stabilizes the video and it cuts out your edges very nicely so again you could see the improvement in the edge detection a lot after you see the final effect but getting it working it doesn't have a timer it doesn't work on the front camera so it's very tricky to just get it perfectly but again a very nice achievement by the xiaomi mi dev team because it just makes the phone much more interesting and over the time you are getting much more nicer goodies with the camera such as for example even the dynamic shots were added later on which is nothing new. Apple and Google Pixel phones have it for a long time but even in the video you have a bunch of optimizations for the codec for example 4K 60fps is much more smoother than before it just works flawlessly. 
on the primary sensor you still do not get it for the wide and everything you still have the option for 1080p 60fps on the wide which is still good even my s10 plus doesn't have it but it's just much more smoother than before so for example if you just go to the settings just right over here scroll down now the features would be here and there for a bunch of the phones it might not be the same for your phone cause uh, the newer camera app is not supported for all the phones mostly for the android 10 ones but scrolling down to customize for example you have the auction os1 or just the more tab as before which is like the gcam or the one ui so again just ripping off from everyone but it is quite handy and yeah that's pretty much it for the latest MOA China update. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please drop a like and subscribe down there for more coverage and see you guys in the next one. Peace.